Hey guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Today we are here to talk about the new Community Day event that has been announced a little earlier this afternoon, around four hours ago precisely. Um, so we have ourselves a pretty sweet one, which we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right now. The, our next Community Day Pokemon feature is going to be none other than... Swine of so this is this is a very interesting choice and this is a pretty exciting one too because we're gonna we're gonna be talking about this just in just a moment. So trainers, mark your calendars for February community day featuring the ice and ground type Pokemon Swine Up during the third weekend of February. So check out the details below. So basic times right there. So make sure you keep a, keep track of your time region of your of your regions for your community day events. So. Um, so this is going to be featuring Swine Up, um, which is pretty cool. So that means Shiny Swine Up is coming to the game um, for Community Day, which is pretty cool. Um, and the features with this event is going to be insane. So features, let's read this. Swine Ups will appear more frequently in the wild. Obviously, you can get a Shiny one. Lures will last three hours, which is basic. And here's the juicy one here. For the first time, use a Sinnoh Stone to evolve Palace Swine during or up to an hour after the event to obtain a Mammal Swine, guys, that knows a special move. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mammal Swine is coming to Pokemon Go pretty pretty freaking soon. And it's going to have a pretty special move. Now, the move, we're not entirely sure what that move is going to be. Um, so, it'll be pretty interesting to see what move they're going to go with when it comes down to it. Um, and then, bonuses is looking kind of clean, too. So, you get to get three times to catch Stardust. So you get triple Stardust during this event, which I definitely have to grind that up because I'm low on Stardust. And you get to earn five rewards per day from Trainer Battles during the Community Day weekend. And earn up to five Sinnoh Stones from Trainer Battles on Community Day. So I wonder if that this means you have to uh, do the Trainer Battles during Community Day hours in order to get the guaranteed five Sinnoh Stones. Well, we don't know for sure if that's actually confirmed to be... To be uh, to be 100%, 100% guaranteed, but if we can get five Sinnoh Stones from Trainer Battles on Community Day, that's actually pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. So, definitely a good time to get there. So, can't wait to see you out there, Trainer. Stay safe and happy exploring. So, there you go, guys. Swine Up is our next featured Pokemon, and this is a pretty sweet event because this is going to be introducing a very strong Pokemon known as Mammal Swine. So, Mammal Swine, we're going to go over that. We're going to be um, going on Pokemon Co Hub. We're gonna be talking about Mammal Swine as a Pokemon and what I think it's gonna be it's gonna it's of these use usages and all that fun stuff. So and obviously, you know, we'll be able to get a special move with the Mammal Swine. So we're gonna get ourselves a brand new Gen 4 Pokemon, and that Gen 4 Pokemon is going to be having a, a special move. So the only thing is that we don't know what that special move is going to be. So this will be pretty interesting, and I cannot wait. So without further ado, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go, we're gonna go on Pokemon Go Hub, we're gonna talk about Mammal Swine as a Pokemon. And then we're going to come back onto the game, and I'm going to show you guys what I've been preparing when it comes down to this Pokemon. So I'll see you guys on GoHub. Alright, so here we are on Pokemon GoHub, and this is Mamoswine, which is the evolved form of Swineup. It is an Ice and Ground-type Pokemon, which maxes out at 100% maxes out at 3,000. 328 attack is 247, defense is 146, and stamina is 242. Arguably a really strong Pokemon. Um, its stamina is pretty high. It's this is going to honestly be the best ice type um, um, ice type Pokemon in the game personally. Um, though I would like to see how this compares to Mewtwo with Ice Beam, so that'll be kind of interesting, but. Overall, honestly, this this is going to be a really strong ice Pokemon. Definitely one worth investing in for sure. So let's take a look at the moves here. It gets um, Powder Snow and Mud Slap as as quick as its fast moves, and then for charge moves, it's going to be Avalanche, Bulldoze, and Stone Edge. So this Pokemon has so much potential for a lot of things. Um, for PvP, it could actually be it could actually perform really well. Having access to Bulldoze, which is which is pretty cool for PvP, and Avalanche. Is actually a pretty good move, and then Stone Edge is not really that mediocre there. But honestly, this Pokemon definitely has potential. Honestly, it's it definitely has. Um, I think this Pokemon is going to be really extremely, extremely well. It's going to be really, yeah, it's going to do extremely well. Like, this Pokemon is definitely one you guys don't want to miss out on getting because this Pokemon is going to be 
amazing in both raids and PvP. And 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 of course, if on the off chance we ever get Rayquaza coming back, you know, Mammoth Swine's gonna be really good against Rayquaza as well. So definitely want to get a couple of these, and I know for sure I'm gonna want to get a couple of these as well. So this is pretty exciting. Um, I cannot wait for this event. And just looking at the moves again, um, you know, Must Slap is not that great. Um, but Powder Snow is definitely fairly good, if you ask me. Um, and then Avalanche is a really strong... It's a, really, it's a double bar, does 90. Bulldoze does 80, if I'm not mistaken. Double bar, and then Stone Edge is pretty insane. So, overall, can't wait for this Pokemon. Um, we just have to be sure... We just have to wait to see what the special move is. And, you know, you have some pretty sweet rewards with it, too. So, I definitely cannot wait for, for this event there. So... It's going to be really cool. So Mammal Swan, definitely a really strong Pokemon. Um, definitely, want to, definitely want to make sure you invest in a couple of these. Because Mammal Swan is going to be um, doing significantly well. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hop back on Pokemon Go. And we're going to take a look at my Swine Up and Pile of Swines that I've been, I've been saving on the side. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those right now. Okay, guys. So we're back on Go. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my... Pokemon that I've been working on my swine ups and pile swines. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So as you see here, um, I'm pretty much prepared, honestly. I have a 96% pretty high level uh, swine up here. I forgot if I got this in a trade. No, I actually caught this in the wild. Uh, it was a 96% I caught in the wild. Um, I believe it's 15, 14, 14. It's, not, it's pretty cool. A pretty high level one. I think I caught this one. It was, it, was, um, it was clear. So it's pretty sweet. And this one, I forgot what this one was all about here. But this one has 15 attacks, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then, in addition, I also have some Palace Swines um, that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys here. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is a lucky 93%. So, this is going to be really good for a Community Day. I'm going to make sure always uh, nickname these Pokemon Community Day for, you know, various reasons. Because these are going to be really good for, to get... You know, Mammoth Swan. So I'm going to have a Lucky Mammoth Swan ready to go. Um, this is a 93% Lucky that I got in a trade from my friend Ramon, I believe. No, I actually got it from um, my friend Dave. So, shout out to him for that one. This one here. Uh, Battle with the best attacks. That's the best here. Pretty sweet stuff. Um, and then I have a pretty high level uh, 1756 here. This one is not that great, but I might still evolve this one anyway because it is a pretty high level. So I'm not too sure. I haven't decided yet. And then, oh wait, I think this is. I don't think I don't know if that's the one that's 96. I think he gave me. I think this is actually a 96. I think I could be wrong. Let me see. Uh, I think this is a 96. Actually, my mistake, guys. I think that's a 96, and then this is a 93. But either way, they're both they're both pretty good. Um, I have two really strong mouse swine um palace swines ready to go for community day. This is gonna be pretty pretty sweet stuff. I have three luckies as well, too, honestly. And then this one right here, 1337, is a 98%. I know this one because I caught this. Actually, no. Was it this one? It was one of these I caught in, in, during the raid. It was this one, actually, that I caught. This one it was a 98. Um, HP and Defense. This one, I think this is a 98, guys. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then this one, I think, is 100%, I think. Let me let me double check. I think this is 100% or 98. Uh, it's 98. So, 98, 15 attack, 15 defense. I'm definitely going to save this for uh, Community Day. I have some really really good ones here, so this is going to be extremely useful for the most part. And then, so I already have um, three fairly good ones ready to go, also with the Swine Up as well. So I have some fairly good ones. I forgot what this one was. This one, I don't think it's that great. Actually, it's, it's actually pretty good. It's a 15 attacker, so I'm going to evolve this one as well when I get the chance, when, when, when the time comes, honestly. And I actually have about over 1,500 candy for... Um, this Pokemon here, so I'm definitely, I definitely shouldn't have too much of a, uh, of a problem getting at least, um, six Mammal Swines, maybe even, uh, ten of them, because it's going to be the best Ice type, so you definitely want to take full advantage of, of those, so definitely want to make sure you take advantage of this, because this is going to be a pretty sweet event, um, Triple Stardust, and during the event, I believe you're going to get five Sentinel Stones from Trainer Battle, so that's pretty freaking sweet, so... Honestly, this is going to be a pretty this is this is going to be a pretty great day. Honestly, so definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of it. So yeah, there you go, guys. So Swine Up Community Day is going to be coming February sixteenth. So um, mark your calendars because this is going to be a pretty sweet event. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think and you guys are excited because this is going to be a pretty sweet event because Mammal Swine is coming to generate to coming to Pokemon Go soon and I cannot wait. 
So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you guys think? And this is going to, because I think this is going to be a pretty sweet event. Definitely want to take advantage of it for sure. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment if you guys enjoyed. And I want to know your guys' thoughts on this event. So let me know what you guys think. And with that, until next time, this is Lios NYC signing out.